Do you ever feel like you need more than 24 hours in a day? Or endless things to be done? Maybe you feel like at the end of the day you're not productive enough. Well, not anymore, because now you will learn something called the 80-20 principle, or what is often known as the Pareto principle. It's a principle made by the economist Vilfredo Pareto. Let's just say you have 10 tasks to be done. You actually don't need to do everything to feel productive because probably there are only two to three tasks that are actually vital. And if you get them done, you will feel as if a big chunk of your burden has been lifted. To put it simply, prioritize the important ones first. So a lot of your results came from a small portion of your efforts. Are you starting to get the idea behind this principle? If yes, let's see how it can be applied to a lot of aspects of your life. All it takes is the first two slices. So the Pareto principle can be applied to many aspects of our lives. Let's just say, for example, in food, probably 80% of your happiness comes from the first two slices of the pizza. So you can really enjoy them and keep the rest of the slices for another time. Calories maintained? Check. Is the pizza good? Mamma mia! Pizza example too easy? What if your life is more complicated? Okay, no worries. Let's say you have to work, do some chores, eat, call your mom, gym, and go on a date. Well, first of all, just think what would make you feel productive? What can make you feel that if it's done, you can call it a day and rest? Then go to those things first. The others can be for another day. Do what makes you feel productive the most on that day. So what is the 80-20 rule from the Pareto Principle? Simple. Basically, 80% of your outcome actually came from 20% of the vital tasks that need to be done. Supercharge your business. Now let's talk from a business perspective. Pareto Principle dictates 80% of your profits probably came from 20% of the products that you sold. Not all those cupcakes sell the same. So focus on the best sellers and remove the ones that are not selling much. 20% of your customers probably bring in 80% of your income. So focus on treating them well instead of the other 80% that don't bring the big bucks. The more you apply the 80-20 principle, you can bet your business will go boom. Closet makeover. Want to know what Pareto principle can be done to your closet? Check on those piles of clothes. All your clothes from don't know when till the tag's still on. What about them? You guessed it. Probably you only use 20% of what's in that closet for day-to-day -day stuff. So let's declutter the ones that have never seen the light of day. The, oh, I didn't even know it's still here. And the ones that have sentimental value, but you'll never wear them anymore. Better give them to someone. Remember, someone's trash is another person's treasure. Less drama, mass calma. Or in other words, less drama, more peace. This time you will check on your friendships. Only 20% of all the friends that you have probably brought you happiness or helped you to be a better person. So focus on building those friendships. Nurture the friendships that bring good value into your life, not dramas. Doesn't mean we leave the ones in need. We're just talking about creating healthy inner circles and priorities so you can have a more peaceful life. Watch out for your time. Our time is not unlimited. That's why we have to manage it well. You cannot expect to do everything, everywhere, all at once because that happens only to be a movie. An Oscar-winning movie, apparently. If you know, you know. All right, moving on. So we need to make sure that 20% of our time is dedicated to the utmost of our priorities. Things that will make us feel productive, growth, or good about ourselves. Hacking your happiness. So what else can be applied with the 80-20 principle? Happiness. Yes, our happiness. Because we need to dedicate ourselves to the pursuit of happiness. Okay, that is another movie. No Oscar, but give it a go if you haven't. Right, back to your happiness. So among all the things that can bring you happiness, focus on the 20% that can really bring the 80% of your happiness. And your mental health will thank you. Me time and good rest should be considered as high priority. Mental and physical recovery should also be counted as being productive. Because lots of people overworked and got sick, therefore making them counterproductive instead. Well, we think you already got the idea of the 80-20 principle. Share with your friends or family, that's always busy. If there's anything you still want to ask or talk about this topic, just write in the comment section and let's keep the conversation going.